Welcome, welcome to Study in Slovakia. My name is Peter and this is my interviewee Giovanna. And before we met today, we were at a park and the park was okay, but I was trying to tell her, hey, is there anything nice? And I was like, eh, there's only a gigantic lake that's like a five minute walk. And I was like, really? Thank you so much. You are kind. So today we're going to be doing this interview at this nice, beautiful park. Mm -hmm. And we're sponsored by Study in Slovakia. If you need help studying in Slovakia, please check out the website studyinslovakia.sk. Are you ready for the interview? So ready. Let's begin. <laughs> That's my job! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome, welcome back to Study in Slovakia with our amazing guests. So, Starting off, why don't you tell the billions of billions of subscribers we have <laughs> around the world, since this is the most popular Hi. YouTube channel bigger than PewDiePie. Totally. Definitely. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know. This will change your life forever. So, who are you? Hi guys, my name is Giovanna Vasquez. I'm 34 years old. I came from Ecuador all along. I have a daughter, mm. if you don't know that. She's 14 years old. I actually have two kids, so... Oh, nice. uh, you didn't know that! Uh -huh. Wait, there's surprises, lots of surprises! surprises. <laughs> I like that. Que malo! <laughs> <laughs> Primarily, in daylight, mm. I'm a physicist. But also, at night, I'm an actress oh. and a salsa and bachata dancer. Ah, so others are violated, I tell you. They are. Mamma mia! <laughs> Next on Study in Slovakia. Last question. Let's, let's ask, how did you get from Ecuador to Slovakia? What's your story? Uh, that's kind of funny. I was going to a school conference stuff in Brazil. Okay. When I presented my graduation project. So there was this girl where she was doing a postdoc in here in Slovakia. Yeah, yeah. And actually, she was doing the same field I was doing, mm -hmm. the same one. Uh, she is on mm, calibration-free lips, is the, the thing we call it. Okay. We are the only ones, the two only girls in this whole conference that was more than 100 people all over the world yeah. that was doing this. Okay. So she told me, like, ah, actually, we're looking for PhD students. Do you be interested? But, you know, this kind of conversation not what happens in the conference, but it's just like that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, we should talk, we should talk, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. After that, I came back to Ecuador, was a month, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's the normal talk you have all, always in this uh, kind of conferences. After that, she uh, reached out to me, mm -hmm. like, can you send me your CV? Can mm -hmm. you send me your grades? And can you send me your title? And I was like, yeah, but I still don't graduate. I graduate next week because mm. I was just in the final things. So I said like, yeah, sure, I send it to you. And like, oh, nice. Could you please fill out this form? Mm. And I'm like, yeah, for what it is? It's just formalities. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I was, yeah. okay, I sent that. She just read me some weeks later saying me like, oh, you're being approved for a PhD. And I was like, what? <laughs> I know. Like, what? I, I'm approved for a PhD? Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. We're just going to make you a, a, a quick interview. And I was like, but, but, but I never applied. What, what happens? Like, <laughs> how, how is this happening? Could you explain me? And like, okay, Tuesday at this time. What? Yeah. Okay, they made me the interview. I was like, really not, not knowing if it was real or not because yeah, they yeah, just yeah. told me you're approved. And they just asked me, what is your dissertation uh, project was? I told it, like, uh, why do you want to come to Slovakia? And I was like, because it's a new country and I really yeah, would like yeah, to yeah, know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, like, if you will come, you will bring your family because they were talking about my daughter. And I said, yeah. like, yeah, totally. That's that's my plan because I cannot be away from her. And they said, like, okay, then you're approved. Great. Welcome. And I was like, what? <laughs> Actually, I mean, in the middle of years, because yeah. people start at, at September, but I start in March, so yeah. they are still trying to manage it because I'm the first one who arrived with this uh, situation here. Yeah, so, and you came during COVID, fun. so of course that was a little nuclear bomb for you. Yeah, but I arrived in March 19, uh, 2019. Oh, 19. Like okay. year, I thought, yeah. oh, this, oh, it was March last Like okay. this year was kind of crazy, but of course. Now oh, it's not as I thought it was March this year. That would have been no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Now you've been here for, I guess, at least a year and a half or so, math-wise. Mm -hmm. 
because I can do a little math, not as much as you, uh -huh. but a little bit. Uh -huh. So what are some <laughs> <laughs> what are some differences you find between Ecuador and Slovakia? Well, there there's some of them, especially the culture one for me was a, a, a really big shock. Mm -hmm. Big sh cultural shock when I came here because you know Latins we are quite loud we are like uh, smiling and really warm <laughs> trying to when we yeah. say or we know some people we yeah. kiss them in the cheek we hang or we hug and yeah. here it was like whoa <laughs> I tried to do with some people and people were looking at me at really weird yeah really weird <laughs> and I was like okay I, I, I'm confused how the things are here mm -hmm. like they say hi mm. If they have like more confidence, they say hi. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Just if you are close friends, <laughs> they kiss you on the cheek. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, okay, next time I won't say hello to an unknown people trying to kiss him in the <laughs> cheek because he will keep uh, looking at me like this girl is crazy. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, other than that, actually, one thing is very interesting is the security. Yes. The security here is amazing. Let me tell you, I mm -hmm. feel so safe here. I can walk in the streets with my phone out. I can walk at night. I can take a train. I can take a bus. And nothing will happen when I'm walking, walking home. Yes, like, yes. It, it's fine. And really, that feeling, because now I see the, the things uh, during the pandemic is getting worse in all over the world. Yeah. You know, the criminality is racing really high in, in Latin America. Yeah. I've seen how my city is going uh, really down on this thing and I sometimes I feel desperate mm -hmm. on that but then I realize I can walk freely here and that's something I really really like from from Bratislava from Slovakia in general mm. all these little towns that people is really living in this paradise they mm -hmm. don't really uh, are aware of mm. I, I loved it I loved it Why you tell us what's it like to be a physicist in Slovakia you're PhD experience. My dissertation or my program is quantum electronics, optics, and optical spectroscopy. It has to be more in the way of how do you manage the lines of a spectrum when you are using a laser to measure one sample and try to make it like a little lighter, more fine, to try to make a better uh, data uh, qualifier from it. I understood lasers. <laughs> lasers! I'm going to shoot some lasers in the air now. I that my mind's blown. Any way to condense that of uh, what you're studying? Yeah, sure. In a more simple way, I'm a CSI with a laser. Oh, sweet. Huh? <laughs> that I respect. I like that. <laughs> I, I love lasers. I love my lasers. You have different kind of lasers and you can apply them to a so many fields of industry and so many fields of research. I, I have one it. important question, like a five-year-old version of me wants to ask this. Can you put lasers on sharks? This is from Austin Powers, like sharks that shoot lasers. Do you think you could theoretically do that? A shark shooting a laser. Yes, you put a laser on a shark and that shark shoots lasers. Do you think you could do that? Well, you have to manage a lot of things, but I don't do, I don't think so that the um, water will be a good conductor for that light. It's going to stop a lot from the power of the light that's coming from, uh, from the laser. So I don't think it will be possible to make something from it because uh, the water will be a really hard attenuator for for that. That that's that's the most disappointing the moment the of my will life. So no sharks with lasers. It's not possible. Not for now. But, you know, in, in, in 50 years later, we can be uh, looking at very different point of view because that's what science do. True. It changes our minds every little second. That's what research says. That we, we can find some different ways of doing the normal things we do mm. in a better and a more easy way. Well, so tell us some. So I guess no sh sharks that shoot lasers for now. <laughs> but tell us what are some of the cool things you do with the lasers? Well, the cool things I do with the lasers, you know, when you are in the lab, not mm -hmm. all the things are so cool, but... Of course, a lot of it's dry, <laughs> but... Well, what's cool to you? What do you what's interesting on your day-to-day -day basis? Um, on my day-to-day -day basis, uh, I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I read a lot. I read a lot of papers for doing... Uh, after writing the paper, you have to read a lot. 
also I really like to get into new fields mm -hmm. for the research I'm doing now it's like uh, analyzing heavy metals yeah. in some substances uh, I have to learn how to prepare uh, heavy metal solutions so okay. I went into a chemistry field that I didn't do before <laughs> it was really fun like okay don't touch this don't touch that just don't touch mm -hmm. this and I was like oh nice <laughs> 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 if, what happened if I touch this <laughs> don't okay when I in my laboratory like don't touch that don't touch that just touch the button <laughs> it's the same thing <laughs> well actually one thing I was doing very funny one thing one time with my but this was back in Ecuador okay. uh, we find a new laser a green one yeah so I was playing with that because my, my, my teacher gave me this laser and I was playing and I was like oh it burns a little bit my skin and yeah. he was like really yeah then actually then we found like a plastic bag we start burning <laughs> and after that the two of us were running all over the physics department trying to burden things with the laser okay. <laughs> that was and funny. that's how a future bond villain was born so please don't give me a more powerful laser than that one <laughs> sounds good oh my goodness we are making super <laughs> <laughs> i really love this interview it's very fun let me tell you <laughs> okay what are some of the challenges you faced as a female studying physics yeah i think one of the biggest one is that people don't believe that you study physics they i don't believe you right now <laughs> yeah see that that's exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> okay people normally think that girls study something easier oh something easier and actually in my career there was like really you can say the 10 percent of all the students were just girls yeah. and the other men and when I was talking to people like, yeah, I study physics. What are you going to do with your life with that? I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I can be a researcher. I, I can do a lot of things with knowledge. I can change the world. You know, some mm. are dreamers like me. <laughs> but yeah, people don't, don't believe girls could study some hard stuff. Mm -hmm. And people all, always are uh, putting girls in one you know. Yeah, like a box. Yeah, 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 in a box, in a box, in a box. A girl should do this, a girl should do that. Yeah. But when you get out of the box, it's very uh, difficult for people to understand that mm. nothing is the same. You know, like, really? Why, why you do that? Do you don't have a life? Mm. Yes, I do. And I'm really having fun of it. <laughs> and like, oh, but how, how is that? It's hard for you. Yeah. Like, it's hard for everybody <laughs> that is doing the same. What's the difference if I'm a girl or I'm a boy? But you know what? Yeah, there is a difference if you are a girl and you're a boy. Yeah. Because uh, a boy has it a little more simple, mm -hmm. has uh, less challenge uh, that a girl has to face. Yeah. Me, as a mother... I was about I, to ask that too. I, I, I got my daughter when I was 20 years old, so okay. I was beginning my career as a physicist. Mm -hmm. A physicist, actually, in the first years of the university. So it was quite hard because I didn't have a nanny or anything to, to do with my, my daughter. So mm -hmm. I had to bring her to my classes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she was a very nice girl. I just give her a cookie and she was like just uh, eating that cookie and not make any noise during the class. And I was just begging she didn't do anything because my, my, my teacher would like uh, be, be pissed off of that. Yeah. But now uh, sometimes I take her to but the laboratory. you said sometimes though. She said sometimes. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> sometimes I take her also to the laboratory. Yeah. Uh, she was, sometimes she was sleeping. Yeah, and she grew up uh, in this uh, way. Okay. Like being in, in physics, being at the university, because mm. she was with me all the time. Okay. And now that I'm studying here, that is one of my biggest challenges too, because she's still in Ecuador. I'm yeah. doing all the paperwork for bringing here for temporary res residence as yeah. family reunification yeah but it's been really hard in, especially in this year that yeah. everything was closed here everything mm. was closed in ecuador everything was closed everywhere mm. and for example i see my my classmates they are also studying but they don't have these challenges to face yeah and when you're a mother when you're a girl and when you are foreign in a land it actually puts different levels of uh, difficulties of course but you know uh, uh they say girls are strong and that's what i'm trying to prove hmm. even though you have a lot of these kind of things over you you can overcome them and you can do physics you can do research you can do studies and being smiling every day even though it's hard it is hard every day you have to fight 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 
because it's not just fight against uh, all the things that uh, you have to do, it's also being fight against sometimes depression because being uh, without your family, for a Latin especially, it's quite tricky because mm -hmm. we are very close to our families, mm -hmm. very, very close. And that is something that I also face in being here, but you know, okay. try to be there every day <laughs> with a smile. Welcome, welcome back to study in Slovakia. I just want to thank my guests uh, for this wonderful day that we had. So thank you for doing the show today. No, thank you for inviting me, making this interview the most fun interview ever. I really enjoy it. Thank oh, you so much. Uh, no, I'm glad. I, thank you. Those are some very kind words. So thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> no, and thank all the viewers for, for being with us today. The thank billions and billions of viewers. Totally. Thank <laughs> you for following us and for keep uh, watching all the videos. Because every day I think he's going to be even more fun interviews, you know. I need a, you know what, how come I don't have a hype person? You'd be an awesome hype person. <laughs> You'd be like my hype woman, yeah, like, yeah! yeah! Study in Slovakia, <laughs> let's do this! Yes, because why not? Why not? Why not? I think that's the question you should say, like, study in Slovakia, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I can see a big poster, study in Slovakia, why not? And then everyone's why like, why not? Proč? Proč? <laughs> Studova the Sloven school. Broch. <laughs> <laughs> or how would you say that in Spanish? Study in Slovakia. Mm. Oh, por qué? How, uh, how would you say that in Spanish? Estudiar en Slovakia. Por qué? Por qué no? Por qué no? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you are, can you say the Spanish part again of study in Slovakia? Por qué? So say that real quick. Yeah. Estudiar en Slovakia. Por qué no? <laughs> so if you're interested in doing that, please check out our website studyinslovakia.sk So, my name is Peter and I am Dobana. So, thank you guys and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>